I decided for some reason to paint 20 portraits in two weeks. It was fun, I had a good time. Also, I didn't, it was also terrible, but it was fun. This painting might be the one that sends me into a crisis. tried filming this but I rambled so much because I'm so tired okay so I just finished portrait number five which is this one I have to paint like the this and like just the sides a little bit I'll do it tomorrow because I'm too tired it's midnight it is Wednesday I started this on Monday so it's Wednesday and already I am going insane I started today I started the day by finishing this one. I really like the way this one turned out. Pretty proud of this one. Um, I finished this one and I immediately started on this one and I wanted to kill myself because it's a black canvas and my paints are very transparent and it wasn't going well. So I took a break and literally almost lost my mind. Like I was delirious <laughs> and I was trying to sketch this one and kept like just zoning out. Like I literally was like asleep while I was drawing it. And um, I tried to film it, but I was so tired that I like never pressed record. And so I don't have any footage for any of this painting because after I realized like the sketch wasn't recorded, I was like just so angry <laughs> with myself that I like didn't bother. And I was also just like too tired to do it, but um, pretty proud of how this one turned out considering I was going insane. It also sucks that it's only day three and I'm already this like stressed, but I'm ahead of schedule because I finished two and have another half. And I should be averaging a painting and a half a day in order to get all 19 done in two weeks. Um, I might go buy another canvas and round it out to 20. It'll be like a small one though. Like I won't do like a big one, but yeah, I have the two black canvases and then I am done with the, I think they're nine by 11s. And then I move on to 11 by 14s. And I'm not excited about bigger canvases because these are hard enough, but I chose to do this, so I can't complain. I'm gonna complain, but okay, I'm gonna go to bed and wake up and just keep, keep just doing the same thing. That'll be fun. I'm excited. This is exciting.
So I thought now might be a good time to talk about my process and the way I was approaching these paintings. Considering I've only painted about two completed paintings before this challenge and only one of which was an actual portrait, I really had no clue what I wanted to do. One of the objectives of this challenge was to kind of figure that out, was you know to create a process for acrylic painting so that I felt comfortable looking at a blank canvas instead of feeling absolutely paralyzed with fear. Obviously, I always start with a sketch. The amount of detail that goes into the sketch was uh, entirely random. I think it was more about my confidence. So like if I was able to draw the sketch easily enough, I'd have more confidence and didn't feel the need to go into full detail with the sketch. But when it took a few tries to get it right, I tended to add a lot more detail and shading and stuff to make myself feel better about my artistic abilities at that time and therefore more confident when I started painting. And then, you know, I would lay on the background, usually just, a f not usually, all the time, just a flat, solid color because I wasn't worried about that. The color choice was also generally random. The actual painting of the portraits can, I think, be broken down into two major parts, gross detail and fine detail. Sometimes I would try to block in some shadow or punch in lights and darks really quickly, but that never really helped me like at all. I found that going in with a large flat brush and laying down the oversaturated undertones that I saw and large shapes of color 
or blocking in skin was the easiest way for me to start. Getting rid of the white of the canvas made the whole process like a lot less daunting. Whenever I got bored of doing that, the gross detail, I would go in with a smaller brush and start blocking in the finer details, like getting the general shape of the eye, corners of the mouth, deepening shadows, getting figuring out, you know, light contrast and stuff like that. I basically kept going back and forth between the bigger and the smaller brush until overall I felt like I couldn't really add anything to the painting or just like got sick of looking at it. Uh, then I would go in with my smallest brush and did the finest of details like highlights to the eyes or the nose or you know the brightest points of the skin, add eyelashes, fine shadows, stuff like that. Again, I said this in the last video, but I cannot stress enough how much I don't know what I'm doing. I think some of these paintings turned out really well, I especially like the two in this video, but I honestly can't tell you how these ones are any different from the ones that I think turned out poorly. I think I've learned a lot from these paintings, but I still am clueless about painting overall. Uh, hope I, 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 don't, I, I don't know what I'm doing, like I can't articulate that well enough, like I don't know what I'm doing with painting. Um, also, this doesn't go into much detail, this is not a tutorial at all, uh, and that's because, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. All of these paintings, even in hindsight, there was no real process, there wasn't much thought into it, it was just following gut instinct. Alright friends, thank you for sticking with me to the end of this. Uh, hopefully the rest of the paintings will fit into like two videos and we won't have to drag this out forever. And thank you for the really wonderful comments on the last two videos. If you have any questions about these paintings or this challenge or like whatever, feel free to ask in the comments so I have something to talk about in the next few videos. Uh, anyways, 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to catch the next part of this little series. I hope you're all staying safe and as healthy as possible in these trying times. Uh, go, go do some art. Go wash your hands and do some art. Seriously, wash your hands and freaking stay inside. Thank you.